announced that travel times between Krakow Gdansk and Krakow Warsaw will be the shortest ever. We will also be able to travel faster from Warsaw to Poznan and from Warsaw to Wroclaw. Poland will play a key role in connecting the railways of Eastern and Western Europe, according to many studies. In the year 2022, PKP Intercity will achieve a record of 58.9 million trips on its lines. This was nearly 10 million more than the previous annual high of 49.6 million, which was set before the COVID-19 pandemic in 2019. Poland's ambitions for its transport infrastructure go far beyond steady improvement, however, and center on the so-called Central Port Komunikacyjny, or CPK. The plan could also play a pivotal role in the development of better rail infrastructure throughout Central and Eastern Europe. Located in central Poland about 40 kilometers west of Warsaw, CPK is designed to integrate air, rail and road transportation. In addition to being the largest airport in Central and Eastern Europe, CPK will provide some 2,000 kilometers of new, mostly high-speed rail lines connecting Warsaw to Poland's regions and beyond, including Rail Baltica. According to CPK, the total cost of the project is estimated at about 38 billion euros, of which about 8 billion euros will be spent on the construction of the airport and about 30 billion euros on railway investments. European funds will be a significant source of financing for the railway investments related to CPK, says the project's CEO Mikolai Wild, who points out that the European Commission included the railway element of CPK in the new 10 network last year.